This course has started last summer. Actually, we didn't have lots of problems last summer because it was free time, you didn't have courses, at that time you didn't have classes, you didn't have lectures. So uh, we had lots of free time on the, on, on, uh, at that time and we had no problems whatsoever. So the course was running uh, fluently, smoothly, but then the problems started to happen uh, when we started giving that course during the study time. Okay? Now, um, for me and Mr. Ahmed, inshallah, we are trying to put a very interesting plan for the coming summer. We are trying to come up with a plan in which we will try and we will do our best, okay, to avoid all the problems that we face during the study. Uh, I can say that <coughs> our main problems during the course, okay, was the many vacations, like every minute, you have a vacation in a college, like, I feel that I, I give a class to have a vacation after that, you know, so the course took a lot of time, and I'm not used to this, Mr. Ahmed is not used to that, so that was very horrible, and we intend, inshallah, next time to avoid that, because you are not supposed to study one business English course in about five months, because this is crazy, okay, so inshallah, the new plan is going to be one level, one month. And this is going to be applied, inshallah, in summer. One level, one month. There will be a start day and an end date also. So we know when to start and we know when to finish. Now, allow me to give you an overall idea about the things that we're going to do today. Basically, today is a presentation day. Today is a presentation day. Of course you know that. Now what do we mean by presentation day? Everyone is going to give a presentation and you are going to get evaluated. Okay? And this evaluation is going to be added to the marks you have or the marks you got in all the quizzes and the modules you study. You know the system here in the Business English that it's uh, accumulating uh, marks. Like whenever you finish a test, we get the marks, we put them together, and finally we get the percentage out of 100. Like how much you achieved out of 100, if you achieved like something like less than 60%, so you, you failed the course, you didn't pass. Okay, inshallah, I wish all of you good luck. Now, about the, the presentation, what are we going to focus on mainly? We're going to focus on so many areas during the presentation, like I can say, number one, well prepared. We're going to see if your presentation is well prepared or maslu salibi. Like, this is what we're going to look at. Like, it's very important. Like, your presentation has to be well prepared. That's number one. Okay. Num uh huh? <laughs> How can it be well prepared? Like, this is for me uh, to know and for you to find out. Convincing? The presentation has to be convincing. Like, as audience, we need to sit and listen to someone who is trying to convince us with something. Not just someone who stands on a stage giving us just rubbish. Because rubbish is not welcome in a presentation day. Um, <clears throat> organization, logical order, and transition. Also, this is another element. What do I mean by logical order and organization? We mean by that that we need a presentation that starts in the right place, okay? And then I feel that it is very organized, like I have reasons, then I have results, then I have conclusion, I have introduction. I want to feel that this presentation is organized. Um, focused on important issues. And excuse me, for the people sitting in the back, please, Try to sit on benches, please. Okay, for the ladies, Hagar and Hosseini, try to sit on the benches. Yes, it's a blessing that I know your names, or I'm in trouble. Okay, uh, demonstrated knowledge. Demonstrated knowledge, because sometimes in presentation, we feel that people come on the stage, spit at our faces, and then they go back which means the presentations are too short and we don't need that. I need the presentation not to be too long and not to be too short, 
I need to feel that you are speaking about something. Yes, it is. It is my beast. No worry. Okay? And good use of time, like you have five minutes. If you're going to exceed five minutes, we're going to stop you. If you're going to exceed five minutes, we're going to stop you. Only five minutes, everyone. Okay? And we are hoping to be able to finish today. <coughs> good conclusion. You've got to end your presentation with a good conclusion. Okay? You are not supposed to end your presentation like Sha'ban Abdul Rahim with Bess Khalas. Okay? When you want to end your presentation, you have to end it in a good way. Okay? Quality of visuals. We're going to look at your slides. If your slides are good or bad, we need good colors, good unity of colors. Okay? We're not looking for uh, a yellow slide with white font on it. Because me and Mr. Ahmed, finally, we don't want to go blind. Okay? Um, loud and clear, that's also like I need someone who speaks with a clear voice. Not someone who's speaking like me, like, I don't need that. I need someone who trusts himself, someone who speaks with a very good I don't care about accents right now, but I care about someone who trusts himself and is speaking a clear voice, okay, with a clear message. Um, faced the audience, this is very important. Faced the audience, which is about eye contact. I want you to face the people. I don't want someone standing on the stage and looking at the slides. Like you are giving your presentation like that. Does it work? No, it doesn't. That's okay? I need someone looking at you. Okay? Looking at the faces of people. Okay? Now, um, adequate level of details, with which means like we need something that is well prepared. We talked about that before. Lively and interesting. I need an interesting presentation. I don't want to get bored. Really? Like. We don't want to get bored. I don't need someone to come here to make me bored because <coughs> it is not nice at all. Eh? We need something interesting. Uh, professional language. We're going to look at the language, uh, how your English is, the structure, the grammar. <coughs> uh, the verbal filters. Look at this, people. Um, in presentation, it is normal sometimes to say, um, I think, uh, uh, well, uh, this is no problem. But it is a problem when it is too many. Like, uh, 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 I don't want that. Okay? I don't want that. I need someone. Okay, if you're going to say, oh, you've got to say, um, I think, and then you speak. But to keep giving me, uh, what am I supposed to say? Sahab? No, no. Whatever. Um, okay, uh, I think you got that. Finally, we might ask you questions. This is up to me and Mr. Ahmed Sam. We might ask you questions. But look, uh, quickly on that point. We are not going to ask questions to embarrass people. Even if you don't have an answer, we need to see your reaction. Yes? <laughs> That's all. All what we need is reaction. Like, how are you going to receive the question? Some people go like this. Of course, we don't need that, okay? We need people who are able to deal with questions. Now, uh, I was supposed to start this presentation 